Let's move on to question number seven. What are the total sales aggregated by product family, product size, and across both dimensions? Okay, so take some notes. We need total sales by the product family. Oh, we also need product size. And across both dimensions. Ah, okay, so all combinations of uh, product family, product size, you can use the rollup function. And I'll show you how to. So let's select d dot product family, d dot product uh, size. And then we'll need the sum, we'll need the sales USD as total sales. And we'll get this from the plants dot plants fact table, which I will alias with an F, and then we need to join plants dot plants dimension table with a D. And then on F dot product ID is equal to D dot product ID. There we go. And group by not just the product family and the product size, but all combinations of product family and product size. So you can just use group by and uh, roll up. And then now you can use product family and product size, put it in the brackets. So group by, roll up, product family, and the product size. And then I'll order by the same, just so we can see the results easily. And let me just run the query. This should work. And it did. So if you look at the bottom here, what's happening is that, first of all, it groups by, well, nothing. So it just gives you the total sales. Then it goes to the first product family and then groups by that. Then it grou groups by the first product family and large product size. Then first product family and medium product size. And then first product family and small. And then moves on to the second product family with no aggregation on the product size. Then medium, then small, so on and so forth. So this was question number seven. Question number eight. For each product, what is the maximum sales amount recorded on any single day? I'm not even gonna take notes for this. This is pretty simple. So for each product, all you have to do is select the product ID and then use the max function to get the max sales USD. Let's call this max sales or max daily sales from from if I can type plants dot plants fact table and then all you have to do is group by the product ID and this should give you the max sales for that specific product. There we go. Max daily sales. Question eight. This was a pretty simple one. Question number nine. Can you calculate the running total of sales for each product ordered by the date of sale? So I won't take too many notes here, but running total here, just remember that you'll have to use a window function and then uh, I'll show you how to do this. So let's select product ID because we'll need the running total of sales for each product ID. We'll need the date column because we need to know how the running total goes over time. And then we'll need the sum of sales USD. And then I need to partition this by the product ID because we need the running total for each product. And I need to order by, and this is where it gets interesting and new, I guess. Let me just organize it a little bit nicer. So sum of sales USD over partition by the product ID and then order by the date. But it doesn't stop here because you need rows between press unbounded. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, on rows between unbounded preceding and current row. And uh, we can call this Let's say we call this as uh, running total sales. All right, so the way this code works is you order by the date 
and then the rows between unbounded preceding and the current row basically just gives you the running total. This is just the way the code is written. So from plans.plans fact, and then all I have to do, oh, actually, actually, I just need to order by the product ID and uh, the date. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, there we go. So you can see that I have product ID 2000, 27th of May, this is the sale. And then I have the running total on the 2nd of September, which is this much. And then I have the running total in 2023, 17th of May, which is this much, and then moves on to the next product ID, so on and so forth. So this is the way you do a running total calculation using the order by, and then rows between unbounded preceding and current row. And the last question, question number 10, which products have never made a sale in the US? Again, there's gonna be multiple ways to do this. The way I will do this is using the not exists function. So this is what I will be utilizing, but you can use whatever you want to, to be honest. So first of all, I will select all of the unique product IDs. So select distinct product ID and product name. So I'm gonna get this from the plants.plants fact table, or no, sorry, I'm going to get this from the plants, the plants dim table. Yeah, I need to get this from the dimension table because what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for everything that is not in the facts table. So if it's not in the fact table, then I didn't make that sale. So those are going to be the products that have never made a sale. And then I'll just filter for the country, which is US. So that's what I'm doing. And then this is the where clause. And then I'll use not exists, like I promised. And then I'll use select one from. And now I'm going to use the facts table. Plants.plants fact as F alias the table. Where D dot product ID. Should probably give this a name. D dot product ID is equal to F dot product ID. And then uh, and F dot country code is equal to the US. All right, so what is actually happening in this code here? So first I'm selecting the unique product IDs and product names from the dimension table. And then I'm saying, give me all of the entries where this doesn't exist. So this is the condition. So the opposite of this condition is that these don't exist, which means I'm selecting everything from the fact table where the product ID is equal to the dimension table product ID is equal to the fact table product ID and the country code is equal to the US. So if this doesn't exist, that means that I'll get all of the products that have never made a sale in the US. So let me just run this code. And there you go. These are all of the products. I think there's 902 products that have never made a sale in the US. And this select one from Plants Fact is literally just a dummy code in the sense that one is just, you'll see, an entry of one. I could have typed in two and it would have been the same. I just want to return the row so it doesn't really matter what you type here. I use one because I think it's just the norm to use one. I don't know, this is the way I learned it, so this is what I'm using. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please check out everything in the description below. It's gonna have links to not just this data set, but my community link, the 50 projects in 90 days link, a link to my website, mochan.info, where I teach a lot more of this stuff in a lot more detail. and. I hope you liked it and I'll see you again.